you can now create and animate 3D inside of After Effects. Now, all you have to do is drag and drop your 3D object in. Now, you guys can see here, it looks very weird. And we're going to fix that by opening this up, going down to Transform, clicking on Scale, and we're going to bring that all the way down. So it's sitting at around 2 here. I recommend holding Command or Control on your computer to get it more precise. And then playing around with the positions, you can move it to your liking. And the coolest part is you could keyframe every single one of these. You could have them move to your liking just like that. I opened up here is Sketchfab. It's a library of a ton of free 3D assets that you guys can use for projects. Let me show you how it works. So let's go ahead and search flower. We're going to make sure we have downloadable checked here and you want to scroll through until you find one that you really like. Make sure you guys are looking at the top right corner of them. If they have a dollar sign, they're going to be paid. And if they don't, just like this, they're going to be free. Let's go to this one here, which is free. You guys can view the entire model and drag it around and see it before you download it. And then if you like the model, go down to download 3D model and then make sure you download it as a GLB file. This is the most important important part as this is the only 3D format that's supported. This one has a couple different texture sizes. I recommend going with the biggest one. And then we're going to drag and drop it inside of our composition here and hit OK. So it's the same thing as before, opening up Transform. So instead of moving the scale, what you guys can also do as well is push it further back into the Z space by raising this percentage right here. And then we can bring it down like this. You guys can also use these controls as well if you prefer that. Now, what I recommend doing is keyframing all these just like I did before. Going to the very end, we're going to make it float up just like this and then maybe rotate a little bit we get a look just like this if you guys are wondering can you track these to your videos you can do that you want to start off by right clicking on your video clip boom we're going to track and stabilize hit a camera now these are tracking here we're going to go ahead and create a camera and boom as you guys can see it's automatically tracked to the scene the only downside to this is you actually can't drag and drop effects like lumetri color and blur on top of the 3d layers for example i have lumetri color here i'm going to try and drag and drop it on top of our layer here and it just won't let us as you guys can see so I found a workaround for this, which is complete sauce. You want to right click, create new, create a new adjustment layer, drag and drop your Lumetri color on there. If we go ahead and play with the exposure here, you guys can see it affects the entire scene, which we don't want. We only want it to affect the flower. Now, if we go over to track mat here and turn the track mat on the adjustment layer, do with the .glb file, your 3D object, and then we turn the flower back on here. Everything we do inside of the adjustment layer is only going to apply to the flower here. We make the scene a little bit more orange, turn down the saturation so it matches the pink a little bit more you guys can see we've only affected the flower there if we turn the adjustment layer on and off just like that as simple as that you guys can do the exact same thing with blurs here i'm going to drag and drop a gaussian blur on now i'm going to turn that up now this was in the after effects beta a couple months ago but it seems like they finally released it i was hoping they'd solve the issue where you can actually drag and drop effects onto the 3d file itself but it looks like we're not going to get that just yet if you guys enjoyed this video and learned some new sauce, I recommend subscribing and turning on the notification bell as well. Also, go check out this video right here if you want to learn some more sauce. I'll see you guys in the next video.